Hello again and welcome. This is going to be a very short video. I recently purchased some of these shorting BNC connectors and there was a question about what happens if you were to short some of the outputs of your test equipment. Most of my test equipment has 50 ohm outputs and they're all small signals so they're rated to handle an indefinite short. This on the right is a homemade arbitrary waveform generator. One of the benefits of this generator is it has a high power output. So rather than 50 ohms, this is actually a low impedance drive. So let me just show you, I've got a small light bulb here. I'm just going to attach that to the output of our ARB. Let's go ahead and we'll s slow this thing down a little further. And here we're speeding it up. Down here I have a small DC motor. We'll go ahead and attach this to our ARB. You can see I have our oscilloscope attached to it as well. So the scope is currently set for 2 volts per division. You can see we're switching plus or minus 5 volts or so right now. Let's just drop this down one so this is 5 volts per division. Let's go ahead and turn the gain up a little higher. Oops. <laughs> so here's 10 volts. There's plus or minus 15. We are 10 volts per division. There you go. <laughs> the other two connectors are the trigger in and trigger out. What you can do with this is record a waveform and then we can play it back on the outputs with the trigger that's synchronized. So if I attach this to our oscilloscope, and back then I only had an analog scope, this allows me essentially to scroll through the waveform that I've captured. So this is my digitizer for my analog oscilloscope as well. See off to the side it has a couple of ports. This one is a RS-232 and this is a Centronics port. And then my firmware was set up to drive, I want to say, some kind of an Epson printer. Well, there you go. So, vintage homemade ARB driving a standard DC motor. Later.